If you cannot roll, you cannot spar at this point for whatever reason, that does not mean that you cannot learn anymore. In this video, you're gonna learn how to use internet to keep evolving and save your time. Just before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like this kind of video. And also let me know what you found when you started using internet to leverage your game. All right, we all learned that we need to fight with what we've got. And nowadays, given the lockdown, sparring is not allowed. So we need to make the best out of internet. However, you should not expect to be the same pace as it would if you're like a rolling, you're going to the gym, you're training, you're sparring. It's a different kind of training, but I believe that you can still make progress. And that's why I'm recording this video to you. Okay, so to simplify, I'll break it down internet in four pieces. One is fights. You can watch like uh, the, the finals of the world, for example, on YouTube. Pretty much most of the years, I believe it's available. Besides fights, you can watch a free tutorial, like a world champion or a very technical guy teaching, really well explained, like breaking down piece by piece and free. And then you can move to the other spectrum where it's paid. Like you can have a paid tutorial. You can, you can sign up for a membership like a GB Online. There are many, there are many out there that is gonna teach you with more detail like uh, more in a sequence, more like a system approach, the way they, they like to call it, which is better, uh, that allows you to, to learn more uh, in depth that technique. And then you can move to another layer where you can go like what we are having nowadays, the, the Zoom classes, where like you, you, the instructor teaches the technique and he also has the platform that allows him or her to fix the mistakes you're making. So I think those are the four pieces that I find that we can, like just to simplify internet uh, for now, you can like start to organize in your mind and also on your schedule, what kind of material you are interested. So let me start with the fight. I love to watch uh, competition. Like I watch competition to, to learn Jiu Jitsu as a way for me to see what the guys are doing, like what's, uh, what's new, you see really what's the the frontier, right? Uh, what's happening in the competition. It's the most updated uh, techniques like uh, the last ADCC, uh, Lachlan uh, Giles uh, was able to showcase his new approach to leg lock that surprised the world. So I, I love to, to watch fights and I recommend for any level. You know, you can watch the fight and I also recommend that you, if it's a fight that you you, you like, it's a, it's a fun fight, like rewatch it, watch it again, like a couple times, like so you can understand better instead of watching a bunch of fights. I, I like to do this a lot. I watch the same fight many times. And then you can move on to the free tutorials, which is good. Like you're gonna find all kinds of uh, tutorials, like from really, really good to not so great. And that's, that's kind of tricky because it's free, it's available and depending on your, on your skill level, it's hard for you to judge. And that's what I find is a bit of a trap if you're a beginner, not if you're advanced like a purple and up, then it's not much of a big deal. But if you're white, blue belt, sometimes even purple belt, there are some hidden details that if it's not explained, if it, the guy doesn't make it explicit to you, you won't fully understand the technique and also the concepts uh, involved like behind you know, the why behind every move that he's doing so I think this is very hard to get across the board when you when you're talking about uh, free content you know you, you can still find it don't get me wrong but you know I, I believe higher belts will have advantage on be able to to find those uh, gems and then when you move to the paid spectrum, you still have tutorials. As I mentioned, like more well-structured because these, these, these tutorials tend to follow a sequence, tend to have a system approach that gives you more of a, a structured learning experience. So especially for, again, for lower belts is very important. For high belts, still important, uh, no doubt, but uh, it's critical for a beginner. 
And the last one, but not least, uh, we can talk about the Zoom classes, like classes that you have a structure, teaching techniques, exercising with you, but able to fix the mistakes that you're doing and to also to answer, to interact with you in a different level, the best uh, level that's possible online. There's a great value for beginners and also for more advanced guys because like you have this interaction not to mention the, the social aspect as well. If you have no interaction, how do you know if what you learn is what has been taught? You know, that gap can be very small if you're, if you're an advanced guy, but it can be huge if you're a beginner. So you have to really pay attention to that. And I recommend for beginners, no doubt, to have a class that you have this kind of feedback. So in a nutshell, the best formula to learn jiu-jitsu is to combine those things, but never forget that the mats will be always your best lab. Just try to use this internet roadmap that I give to you while that's the only option available. I hope you guys like it and see you guys on the next video. Was.